Welcome back. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to do your thumbnails for your vehicles. Let's get started. So let's start by jumping into the editor. So here we are in the editor and I have the Spitfire open and behind it I have Photoshop with a little square which is going to be my vehicle thumbnail. So if you ever uploaded a vehicle to the workshop you know that this button right here, the workshop button, is what you want to click. You click it and you can upload a new vehicle or if you've previously uploaded you can find it down here on the list. Here's my Spitfire. I click this. It says I want to overwrite. I do for this little tutorial so we're going to say yes and then we have all our settings. Now on the top right this is what was added in a recent patch not too long ago uh, but some people were asking how do you make the thumbnails so I'm going to go through that but first I'm just going to show you what the thumbnails look like. We're going to click this and then we're going to find our thumbnail which is right here and that is it and we would upload it. All right so how do you make this thumbnail? All right let's go through that really quick. Let's go back to that. Let's go to Photoshop. So I've created a thumbnail template for you to use. This is it right here. It's called guide.psd and you can download it in the description below. And also, if you don't have Photoshop, you're going to want to get at least GIMP and that is a free download. And I'll show you how that works. But right now we're in Photoshop and I just want to show you that I've added the Stormworks template there. So you can see right here, if I erase all these, these are not in the <laughs> template. These are just mine that I keep building as I go. But if I turn all these off, where's my text? There we go. So this is the overlay that Stormworks puts on top of your image. So if we were to create a new plane, and let's just grab something. So here is a screenshot of something I'm working on. And we're just going to go ahead and drag it to the image here. And then we're going to click Edit, Transform, Scale. And I like to do Fit on Screen. And then we just go ahead and go down here and size it until we get the screenshot like we like it. Let's say right there. All right. And then we're going to turn this off. And then, of course, we're going to go to export. And we can do quick PNG, which is fine. And it's going to go to the directory that we want. So it's in the app roaming Stormworks thumbnails. And you're going to want to save it as a PNG. And so we'll just call it UFO. UFO.png. All right, there we go. Now, if we were to go back to Stormworks and say we're uploading this as a new thing, and this is now a UFO, we now have our thumbnail and we can upload it. All right, so let's jump into something else now, which is GIMP. So before we jump into GIMP, here is the web page, and you just go to GIMP.org and you can click download. And it has the different versions for Windows or Linux or Mac, and you can download it easy peasy and install it. All right, what does GIMP look like? All right, so this is GIMP and GIMP works a lot differently from Photoshop. So I might have some troubles here, but I'm gonna try to show you how to use GIMP, which is a free program. You can download it in the description below and use it for your photo editing fun. So in order to get this to work, I had to change my mode. So I just opened up the guide and what happens here is if I open up a screenshot and I try to copy and paste it into this image, it doesn't seem to work for me in this mode. So what I have to do is I have to go to Window, and then down here it says Single Window Mode. I turn that on, and what that's going to do is separate this image from the interface. So if I can go ahead and resize it, I'm going to put it right here, and now I'm going to open up a screenshot that I want to paste into here. So we're going to go to File, File, open, grab a screenshot, and then it's going to open this up. Cool. So now this is the plane I want to use. Let's just pretend like this is the plane I want to use, and we're going to put it into here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and say Edit, Copy Visible. I'm going to come over to this thumbnail, and I'm going to make sure that I'm on Layer 1 because I want it to be right in between Layer 1 and Guide. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit and paste. All right, so the way this works is very odd, but you'll see the outline of the screenshot, and then this outline here, I believe, is of the Spitfire, but we're gonna ignore that. So this white outline is what we're gonna resize. So we're gonna go over here to the Scale tool, and that's Shift-S, we're gonna hit Shift-S, and that's gonna put us into the resize mode. This center part right here, you can use to grab it and move it around. 
these corners, we can resize it. And we're going to size it down until we get it to a nice size right there. That looks good. And then we're going to click scale. All right, so we have our plane where we want it. And we're going to go ahead and turn off the guide. And we're going to go to File, Export As. And we're going to find the directory that we need to go to. So you're going to go to C Drive, Users, Your Name on Your Computer, and then App Data. Now, if you see right now, we don't have App Data listed. And that's because GIMP hides it. So what you want to do is right click, and you're going to see Show Hidden Files. Click Show Hidden Files, and now we have the App Data directory available, and then Roaming, and of course, we're going to go down here to Stormworks, and then if Thumbnails does not exist, you're going to want to create that directory, and then click into it, and now we're going to go and select the extension that we want, which is PNG, come down, and there it is, and then we can rename our file whatever we want up here. We're just going to leave it as Guide. I think I already made this, so we're just going to ask us, do we want to overwrite it? We're going to say yes, and then we're going to say export. All right, let's go back to Stormworks. Once we're in Stormworks, we can go ahead and hit Workshop, Upload New Vehicle, you know, enter our name, of course. But now we're going to go and find our new thumbnail. We're going to click on this, and there it is, the guide, and it's ready to go. So that is it. We are good to go. And we can upload our new image and our new thumbnail. And we have a guide so we know exactly where the yellow little bar is going to be in the word vehicle. So that is it. All right. So hopefully this was helpful for making thumbnails. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. But for now, that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the bell. So go ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye. There's nowhere to go. Oh, look, we're moving.